Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a tutorial for you and we are going to be making one of those large bows that you put on the hood or on the top of a car when you're giving a car as a gift. I know it's not very often that you do that, but my daughter turned 16 this last weekend and we gifted her a car and I wanted one of those huge bows to put on the hood and when I started looking for them online, they were like 40 or $50 and I thought, I can make a bow much cheaper than that. We're literally going to use it for a picture and then she's going to throw it away. So there's no reason to get $40 for or something that she's going to throw right in the trash. So. This is what I came up with. I have, um, I think six or seven pieces of poster board. This is just regular old poster board you can get at Walmart, the dollar store, Target. Um, you can pick whatever color. They come in a large array of colors now, so you've got many choices. Um, her car is black, so I thought, I'm gonna go with hot pink, that's gonna stand out. Plus she's a girl, so we went with pink. I'm going to cut uh, probably three of these poster boards lengthwise so that I will have longer strips and I'm gonna cut them about three to four inches wide that it doesn't have to be three to four inches it can be whatever you want it to be it will just make your bow you know the little flaps of your bow I guess is what you call them um, wider so like if you want them more narrow and want to put more of them like you can change it up however you want but I did like three to four inches wide and like I said three of the poster boards I'm going to cut lengthwise and then I'm going to do three of the poster boards where I cut them along the width rather than the length so that they will be a little bit shorter they are however going to stay the same width as the ones this way so still about three to four inches and that way you have to where it just kind of flows together. You're gonna to have the longer ones that will make the bottom part of your bow, and then as the bow gets fluffier and taller, those will get shorter so it kind of stands up a little better. And then when we get to the end and we need a center piece, we will probably take one of these shorter ones and cut it um, probably in half or maybe just a little bit less. Um, we will kind of play with it when we get to that. I will speed this up so you don't have to watch me cut, and then I will be back. assembling so I'm going to take my longer pieces and you're going to fold it over and match it up to like this now you're gonna have some places unless you measured every one and cut with a ruler etc you're gonna have some where it like overlaps because you didn't cut exactly straight it's not a big deal you're not going to see it but as you can see it's already starting to form this will only be one half like you will have another half right here so this is going to be huge. So you're going to take your glue gun and literally just put a little dollop of glue. And don't mind my glue gun, it is ages old. I swear I've had that thing for probably at least 15 years. <laughs> and now I've got glue on my table. Okay, so we're going to take Another piece, I'm just going to go ahead and make a whole bunch of these before I stick them together. So, let's see if we can wipe off this extra glue. And do have lots of glue sticks close because this does take quite a few by the time you get done getting it all put together and so that you won't have to sit here and watch me slowly do every one of these I'm going to speed this up and then I will come back when we're ready to put it together
all glued up. Now we're gonna start assembling. So you're gonna take one piece and you're going to put some glue on it, whether you want a stripe or a dollop or however, and you're gonna put another piece directly across from it. Start of your bow. Okay, so now you're going to do the same thing with a second two pieces so you've got two of them now you're basically going to crisscross them try not to lose my glue Glue down there and just try to kind of get it somewhat centered. Alright. Now I'm going to take two more pieces. Do the same thing. You're just going to keep building. Same thing here, except you're going to put it in the empty spot. So now you're crisscrossing across the X. And now put another layer. More from the do, which is the opposite. Come across this one. Like I said, you can put as much or as little glue as you want. It doesn't take a lot to hold them together. And as you can see, you already have the base of your big, huge bow. And like I said, you can see it holds it together pretty well. I mean, I'm just holding it up like that and it's sticking. Okay, let's see. Long pieces we have here. I actually, well, I'm going to do two more here. So we'll do these two across through here. So you just kind of keep building around, filling in the holes, and then I'll start picking up out of my pile over here. I had to start putting it in the floor so you could still see what I was doing. And these are my shorter pieces. As you can tell, if I hold them up to these longer ones, you can kind of tell. So you're just going to start... building with those now and just keep centering them up kind of imagine like there's an imaginary dot and just kind of always line it up on that center spot and you will have some that have this sticker if you didn't take it off I don't know the sticker might come off but all I did is I made sure that when I put it on, it was facing down, and that way you don't have to worry about it. So like I said, this is one of those items that right after you use it, it's going to get thrown away more than likely, so. That's why I wasn't super worried about making it look really fancy and I mean it still looks really awesome but um, you know it's it's for a picture that teenage kid just wants a picture for Instagram in front of the car with the little bow on it so I 
I wasn't worried about if it was a $40 bow since she was going to throw it away shortly after I gave it to her. You kind of keep turning it just a little so it's not sitting right on top of the last little strip that you did and that's what makes it look so full and fluffy. So I always just kind of look at it and see where it looks like there's kind of an empty spot. double-sided tape even if you wanted if you didn't have a hot glue gun um, it's just what I had and I use it all the time for stuff so it was gonna be the quickest and easiest option for me but like I said if you don't have one then you could do something else and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and it helps you um, if you do, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be making a lot more tutorial videos. I've, I've sat down and made a huge list of all the ones that I want to make. So if you have one that you want me to make, you know, you can drop a comment down below and you never know, maybe one that's already on my list of ones to make. I just am a very do-it-yourself person. I would rather do something myself. I don't know, I've just always been that way. Okay, I think we're ready for our center. I'm going to take one of these pieces that... Here. And this is the whole um, width. This was one of the whole pieces that I used to make these right here. And as you can see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it over like this. And then I'm going to put it down in the middle. And honestly, I thought on hers I cut a little bit off, but I think it's really going to look best. I mean, just barely overlapping it. I'm not overlapping it a lot. So I'm just going to put a row of glue on there. And I'm going to stick it down. And then, let's see which way I want it to go. I don't want it to go that way. I want it to go opposite. So let's just put a row of glue right there. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. And I hope it helps you. It's so exciting when your kid has a big birthday like this. It's always nerve wracking. I've had to release her this week to the world and that's been hard, but I missed a sticker here. Usually I get all the stickers before I put them in here too. Looks like these stickers come off pretty easy. I'll have to pick at it for a minute, but let's see if I can hook this up so you can see it. So that's what it looks like. And then all you have to do, what I did is I literally just laid it on her hood 
and it sat there just fine, no problems. And because of the size, like it's really a good size. And so it stood out in the pictures. They looked really cute. The thing that I forgot to tell you, um, okay, so on the bow, you can leave it just like we finished it here. But I like mine to have these little tails. So I took two of the shorter pieces and all I'm going to do is cut a little triangle. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So you just cut a little triangle on each of them. Take your glue and you are just going to glue them to the bottom so that when you get done, you will have your little tails hanging off like in the picture. Hopefully this helped you and you've enjoyed the video. Um, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that every time I post a video, you guys will get a notification because I think um, if you enjoyed this video, you'll really like my other ones because this was just a quick and easy one and we're gonna do some more in depth. So, hope you guys liked it.